I'm trying to tell y'all why y'all ain't pointing out that this may be some police shit. Why y'all ain't pointing out that Moo Boo Crump got killed, Zach TV got killed, and now they just shot a goddamn Chief Keith in New York. And every and y'all are pushing this guy. Every time y'all put this shit up, y'all put it over to Cash Six Nine. Y'all know goddamn well he ain't do that. Put up the picture of Shotty and a police officer, like I'm finna do. Shotty, a police officer, and Chief Keith. Cause this shit ain't got nothing to do with 6ix9ine. The only thing ain't got to do with 6ix9ine is he's the fall guy. Fearless leader of AO Nation, and this is Are You Serious? As in, one of you bitches that I didn't let come over here and took my goddamn car mate, so I gotta keep licking my fucking lips, and I don't like that shit, dog. That shit, see, it be it be one or two hoes that fuck it up for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So I'm fucked up by that shit, dog. Um, now I gotta go to the store and get some more, but um, I got one question for uh Takashi Six Nine. We know that, you know what I'm saying, Chief Keep got shot at and shit like that. We're going to talk about that. We're going to go in depth with this shit. I'm going to go crazy. But I have a question for Takashi. If y'all can go get him, to bring him to the forefront right quick. <clears throat> All right. What's going on, Beyond? Love. Um, who told you to go to, uh, L.A.? Who told you to go to L.A.? Because, I'm going to tell you something. If they don't catch these, if they don't apprehend the suspects within 48 hours, then was Police. And them police are trying to force a war between New York and Chicago. Which I believe, hold on before we go any further. All of AO Nation, I fuck with y'all. I, I cannot, like, y'all been donating crazy. I appreciate that love. As I said, I'm just a retarded ass nigga from Alabama. And y'all really showing a nigga love, man. I really appreciate that shit. Like, no joke, all jokes aside. Um, all my local artists, you have to, I just met the 10,000 mark too also, so that's love on everybody part, all my new subs and shit like that. If you're a local artist and your budget and you do not have a hundred dollars ready for your promotion right now, please wait till you have it and then contact me. I understand you have good music and shit like that, but you have no reason to contact me until you're ready to work. You're not building any relationships. Do not contact me until you're ready to work. And work means paying for what you have going on. Your music has to be good enough to be on this channel. Everybody, Everyone who's put music on this channel, whatever like that, has had their music up to standards. That's why I fuck with them. Do not contact me until you're ready to work. You can contact me on any one of the um, social media platforms through the messenger and shit like that. But don't hit me up until you're ready. Have your money together. Have the song you want promoted or the mixtape or whatever project you want to be promoted. But have your shit ready. All of, um, if you want to donate, if you're a new sub and you haven't donated, you need to know how to donate. Um, the PayPal information is in the description box. Um, if you want a t-shirt, hit me up on those social media platforms. I do all that personally and it will be sent to you. Um... What else? What else we got? That's about it. All right. So, the war between New York and Chicago is being inflated for reasons I can't say. I don't, I, I can't like I don't I don't I don't know what the like. And that's sometimes like like right now we know that there's a war against black men. Like we're being shot down. We're being uh, criminalized. They want us to, they're, they're stereotyping us. They're making us look like 
with this evil demonic people. And then right here on the right here next to us, you got these white boys, real deal, talking about how they're gonna mass murder white kids at school. And they no, he's, he's just a sick kid. He got bullied. Stop the bullies! Like those black kids. Those black kids are hyper criminals and hyper predators. They're the fucking bullies, even though there wasn't any black kids at their school. Uh, they're bullies. So we see that that like they have a conspiracy, they have a agenda going on with the black man and keeping him looking like he's always in the wrong. Always in the wrong. It's never, it's never a wrong time to call the police on a nigga. Never a wrong time to call the police on a nigga. This bitch who called the police on the barbecue should have been arrested for a filing a false police report. And if they weren't going to arrest her for that, then niggas should have got to whoop her ass out that motherfucker. And we handle this shit the right way so that we can deter people from doing this shit. Like, hold on. Officer, we got a real crime going on in the city. Or oh, you might you might just be taking a break. And you gotta go out here to check this hole because she called you about niggas barbecuing. Why isn't she being reprimanded? Anytime a nigga sag his fucking pet. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. There is a war, there's a conflict that's being perpetuated. Takashi, I wanna know who told you to go to LA because you being in LA gave you a perfect alibi. This shit that went on, it would seem as if it was planned. Not on your part, because what you were, you probably, whoever told you to go to LA, you know what I'm saying? You probably just say, we're gonna go out here and do it how we do it. We're gonna, we're gonna do this shit how we did it the first time. Walk through, nothing happened and shit like that. You, you didn't want nobody to get fucking shot at. Be honest, you're scared right now. You should be scared. You're probably not smart enough to be scared, but be scared. Your homeboy shot and said this is the new death row. The old death row had fucking in police officers and informants all in that motherfucker. You are not prepared for that shit. You are nothing but a fucking pawn. I done told you, I told you that they don't mind giving one motherfucker money if that means that that person is going to lead a thousand people either to the fucking grave or to the fucking penitentiary. Do you mind being that leader? You see what's going on. Let this right here open your eyes. Like, God damn, dog. I didn't order this. I didn't order for this to happen. I know you didn't order it because no, you're not really about that shit like that. You're smart. You Like, you're you a scammer. I can see that you're a scammer. You're a scammer. So, you don't want no shit like this to happen. But shoddy... What's up with Shadi, dog? I have to start thinking about this shit. Shadi, I see you be home, but I really, I'm starting to look at you like Suge Knight because it's you that are being vocal. It's you who said, um, this the new death row. The same way Suge Knight got on stage and said, you don't want folks dancing in your video. You know what I'm saying? You subbing. The same way Suge Knight was good for, you know what I'm saying, making sure niggas didn't get fucked over by the white boys at the labels, but he was fucking niggas over. And just because Suge had his picks and chooses of niggas who he was gonna fuck over, doesn't make him any fucking better. No white folks had, the executives had picks and chooses about who they were gonna fuck over. See, for some reason, we, all right, all right, let's do it. A black business owner will tell you, you will go and get a white man your money and won't and won't ask him shit about his price. But when you come in my store, you you try to price it too high and shit like that, whatever. But the thing is, my nigga, if you doing me the same way the white man is doing me, or worse than the white man is doing me, I might well go to the fucking white man. It's not, the shit ain't better because it's a, the person who's doing it is in a different color skin. If you in the same skin as I am, you should, I'm not getting into that. Let me get back to what I'm talking about. 69, you don't know what's going on, but think about who told you to go to L.A.? 
Who said do it? Just think, who told you to do that? That person knows exactly who fucking shot at Chief Keith. What y'all, listen, it's too much. You don't understand what's going on. You just seen Crump got killed. Now we seen Zach got killed. We don't know what these people have in common. We don't know what Crump, Zach, Chief Keith have in fucking common. But you best believe it's way bigger than some bullshit about a bitch. Believe that. So all this going to war shit. Now, as far as Chief Keith, them niggas ain't really about that shit. Chief thought he was going to go up this bitch and maybe bump with some niggas. Yada, yada, yada. Them niggas ain't bring no guns because he's smarter than that now. They they broke that nigga back so good. Whatever his new label is, I think them motherfuckers made him stay in their mansion. Like, Chief Keith is all the way slaved out. He ain't nothing but a slave. Chief Keith, they, the white folks... They, at the record labels, they love Chief Keith because he was one of those leaders, those death leaders, loser leaders. That one person who's going to lead us a thousand people, but Chief Keith probably gave the penitentiary and the graveyard 10,000 niggas. That's the nigga that they are pushing your face and show you this is who you, this is who you want to be. This is who you want to be. Do this kind of music. Do this kind of music. Meanwhile... J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar, they dropped something you don't even know about it. No buzz. These faggot ass niggas. Oh man, last time, the last video, I did a crazy ass intro. Damn, it's fucked up. I see, I this is my second time doing this video. The first time I did it, I spoke on certain, not certain, all of you media outlets that have already come. Like, if you already said. That you are not just academics. Any one of you motherfuckers who said, I'm a bitch ass nigga, I'm not about that life. Oh no, I'm not about that life. Do not then get on your video and say, Oh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, the Chicago Savage, you're gonna have to do something on this one. Oh, it's looking weird out here for him. Oh, I don't know what's gonna happen. You niggas are bitch ass niggas. You niggas have already gave the Quinn Miller proxy. You've already claimed, like, I right, look. I'm not about that shit. I don't want no problems. I just, I'm just covering the news. Then cover the news. Leave all that. Oh, 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 oh boy. Woo. You know niggas like that, like niggas who ain't gonna fight shit, but them niggas got them instigate like a mother. Oh, boy, couldn't have been me. Woo, Lord. Boy, you better than me, boy. Woo, Boy, that nigga, woo, boy, that nigga. Boy, in front of your girl. Oh, man, you oh, boy. Woo, woo. Oh, now the cost you lacking. Caught you lacking, oh, whoa. Woo! Ah! Oh! So, you're enhancing the situation because the internet is home of fake people. Social media, the, the reason why it wins is because fat bitches don't have to feel fat online. They can feel like, they can focus in on their good attributes. Because in person, a nigga's not gonna focus in on just your face or your nose ring or your tongue ring. Nigga gonna see everything he finna get. Nigga, oh she nah here, yeah, nah face straight. Shit, that's too much for me. Ooh, too rich for my blood. But online, you can give it to a nigga in portions. You know what I'm saying? Like you give a nigga your good hairdo, give a nigga a face, maybe give a nigga a foot shot. You know what I'm saying? A tattoo on your arm. But he don't never gotta eat the, and digest the whole thing. That's why when bad bitches post, they eat a whole body, no filter. You can take, I, I, I made a post. I said, I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, from now on, I'm gonna assume that if your profile picture is just your face, that you're extremely unattractive. Why are you giving me your image in portions? But that's, that's something else. But it's home of fake people. If this is where a fat bitch can be, oh, I see you, queen. A, a, a aid infected bitch to get on that hole and and uh, uh, this you know what I'm saying take a picture with her tongue out and no fucking shirt no bra or whatever like that and 156 niggas to get on that bitch and say oh I see you queen oh beautiful all this duck ass shit like this you know this is home to fake people and fake shit and you niggas are in the lead because you're in the lead what happens is real street niggas who want to get out the streets. 
of course they're gonna try to do music. But they, they, they realize after doing it, you can't do this music unless you are being promoted. And who do you wanna be promoted by? The biggest nigga on the internet. So hold on, hold on. So if you get promoted by the biggest nigga on the internet, but the internet is home of fake people, the biggest nigga must be king of the fake people. So you've been put there the same way the loser leader has been put there. They've put you there because you will regurgitate everything they want you to. And by you niggas, you are wholeheartedly say, oh boy, I tell you what, who couldn't have been me? So what you, gonna, you ain't gonna do nothing? Oh man, they gotta do something. You gotta do something. Oh man, it's, it's looking crazy. You'll say that wholeheartedly. But then when it's time to talk about, oh, what well, y'all don't do nothing, at the end, at the end of your video, you talk about some, oh, yeah, well, y'all, you, you, you definitely, you lose. If, if, if you shooting out there and stuff like that, you losing. You losing. Oh, uh, if you, uh, 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 stop the violence, you said at the end of the video, but you say that shit so bullshitty, you don't mean that shit at all. What you here to do is hype up the bullshit. And I seen some motherfucker, some of you motherfuckers is giving the news. And like, I don't understand how the fuck you motherfuckers got over 10 subscribers. You not saying shit. All you saying is what the fuck happened. Ain't, ain't no sauce or nothing on it. Oh yeah, this fucking guy, man. Yeah, so he's going to have to do it because he's from the east side of Chicago. And then this other guy, he's from, uh, yeah, he's from, he's from uh, Los Angeles. So... Yeah, they're, they're really serious about, they're pretty serious about pride and stuff like that. So, yeah, these guys are, they're probably going to shoot it out. And they had a gun. And, and like, how the fuck are y'all listening to this faggot ass shit? But, listen, so from now on, you faggot ass niggas who already, you're not a faggot because you, because you said that you're not about the street shit. But you are a faggot if you say that you're not about the street shit and you know you're not about that. I'm talking about any of you fuck niggas. Because none of you niggas gave me no shout out. And I don't know why the fuck you ain't. You see my channel rising. You ain't gonna give me no love. Ain't gonna say nothing. But hey, shout out to this up and coming on saying nothing. Like I said, I treat you niggas like I treat the niggas in real life. You don't have to fuck with me. But you not gonna run that whole, I didn't know what you had going on. Once I get to 100,000. Like, I get to 100,000. It's like, oh man, shout out to, I don't need your shout out then. You niggas gonna start shouting me out right fucking now, or do not shout me out, dawg. Don't do it. I'm not with that faggot shit, dawg. You faggot ass niggas gonna get in line. If you not about that shit, do not talk about it. Don't enhance it. The, your only word should be, oh, these guys are, these guys are crazy. This, oh, man. And, and you shouldn't even say that shit. Just say what the fuck happened and get the fuck off. Say what happened and get off. Don't give your opinion unless your opinion is all nerd, all geek. Don't speak on street shit. Talk about songs and shit like that. Don't speak on no street shit because you don't know about it. I think, uh, yeah, he uh, he wears a red rag, so I'm pretty sure he's a crip. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure, man. Yeah, yeah. Usually when they have a bandana, yeah, they're they're usually yeah, they're usually the crip, crip members. Only crip members wear bandanas. Yeah, if it's on his head, he's a crip. If it's in his pocket, then he's Aladdin King. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, man, yeah. Shut the fuck up, dawg. Y'all don't know how this shit rock, and I'm trying to tell y'all why y'all ain't pointing out that this may be some police shit. Why y'all ain't pointing out that Mugu Crump got killed, Zach TV got killed, and now they just shot a goddamn Chief Keith in New York. And every and y'all are pushing this guy. Every time y'all put this shit up, y'all putting it over to Cash 6 9 Y'all know goddamn well he ain't do that. Put up the picture of Shotty and a police officer, like I'm finna do, Shotty, a police officer, and Chief Key. Cause this shit ain't got nothing to do with 6 9 The only thing I gotta do with 6 9 is, he's the fall guy. He's the motherfucking fall guy. And, and like I'm telling y'all, they vet these niggas before they come in the industry. If you ain't the type of nigga to jump on a table and dance, and slide across the table and, and oh. yeah. I dance for you, sir. I sure will dance for you, sir. I sure wish I had some more feet so I could dance for you better, sir. Yes, sir. They don't need niggas who think. They don't need niggas who stand for anything. What they need is niggas who can follow fucking orders. Like, go to L.A. Why? Go there and go to Six Flags. 
everything will be taken care of. My nigga, 6 9 if you want to be a real nigga, let it be known who told you to go to L.A. And let us try to find out what's going on. Because, my nigga, I already feel like you a fucking plant anyway. Because you should not be in a fuck you, Trippy Red, or any one of you fucking faggots. But I'm telling you, you can gain, you can gain a whole bunch of respect if you just let it be known why you went to L.A. Because real niggas is trying to figure out what's going on. We done lost damn near three niggas in, in, in a week. We need to find out who the fuck is doing this shit. Because they trying to make it seem like it's just street niggas killing street niggas. But I don't believe it. I think it's something behind this shit. I didn't believe it when I seen Zach get killed, whatever like that. I didn't believe it when I seen Mubu. But when they fucking try to kill Chief Keith, if you would have been in New York, I would have said, all right, that, that, I see what's going on. But being that you went to L.A., they made a mistake. Who the fuck told you to go there? And hurry up and let it be known before they take my goddamn video down. Real talk. Say who told you to leave. If it was shoddy, you need to talk to shoddy. Dog, you are just a pawn in this game. Real niggas are trying to figure out who's trying to destroy us. We are being killed out here, dog. I know that you living in a lap of luxury, but it's niggas out here using goddamn fans to stay cool, dog. It's niggas out here using fans to stay cool. Niggas is trying to figure out who's trying to destroy us, dog. If you want to be respected as a real nigga, let us know who in the fuck told you to leave. This shit is being perpetuated. And somebody's being paid for it. We trying to follow the money. Somebody's being paid. Somebody's fucking... Somebody's benefiting from all this chaos that's going on. And nobody's pointing this shit out. This ain't just fucking news. This ain't no... What, they, what they're doing is... They're desensitizing us to rappers being assaulted and black men being assaulted and killed. They're trying to sweep the shit under a rug to where it's three niggas who die, rap niggas who die. One nigga was almost famous. One nigga was famous. And now another nigga that's famous. Zay TV was, that nigga was up there. That nigga was up there. Dog. Before they take my goddamn video down, let it be known what's going on, dog. Big Face Podcast, you want to hit the PayPal, hit the PayPal. I'll see you on a minute.